Hello there and welcome back you lovely lot and a nice big warm welcome to anybody new tuning in today. Now we have a flamingo design for you today and we are using diamond nail supplies acrylics and I'm firstly going in with this lovely green shade and this is called jade. What I will do is put a cover of jade on both the pointer and the middle finger and ensure that that's got appropriate cover before moving on to the next finger. Now, there's some stamping in this video today, but you've seen me do stamping loads of times, so I haven't kept it in for you. I didn't want it to be too long. Um, what there is, is some freehand. So I have also done some freehand drawing with artisan gel paints so we have that for you as a little uh, bonus i suppose really something different for you to have a look at So I check those and I move on. Now I do actually go in with a small bead back on that middle finger a bit later on. Um, this shade here on the ring finger is called Tutu. And this again is from Diamond Nail Supply. And I will give this a full coverage all over this ring finger. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I will then come in with Tutu again on this pinky. So I apply the bead at the cuticle area and I tuck that in. Once I'm happy with the cuticle and the side wall, I will then swipe that down the nail. Pat that into place. And then I'm going to come in with a glitter. Now this is... Sugar Crush from Diamond Glitters and I've had this quite a while and uh, it's got dark pink, pale pink and white dots in it so I thought this would be great for this set so that will be put at the tip area just manoeuvre a few little bits down for that fade and then pat them all down, make sure they're all nice and flat. And there's nothing protruding from that nail. Then we go on to the thumber. And I will come in with that Diamond Nail Supplies Acrylic Colour 2-2. Fade that back down. Add another bead. And do the same again. Just blend that all in. Make sure that I've got coverage that I want at that tip area. And then once I'm happy with that, I will then come in again with that glitter from Diamond Glitters, Sugar Crush. And I will put that at the cuticle area and bring that up the nail. I'll just let you watch this for a moment.
So once I'm happy with that, I will then cap them all in clear and file those into shape. And then I go in and do some stamping. Like I said, this isn't included in the video, but this is the stamping plate that I used. Nicole Diary. Clear jelly stamper. I used that green there from this set here. And then the Born Pretty Pink is the shade that I use here. Then I'm going to go in with some freehand using artisan um, gel paints. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do an eye shape. So on the back of my thumb there, I have mixed the pink with a little bit of red to get a little darker shade. And I'm going to do an eye shape for the body. Then I'm going to go in at the top and I'm going to put a bead of this gel in a circle and then stroke it down for the beak and this will be the head. I'm not quite happy with that head so I think I'll go in and make that a little bit bigger. Try and get a little bit more paint on there. And then I join those two together. There we go. So that is the basics of the flamingo. Again, I'm just trying to round that head a little bit. I then come in with some red and make some feathers on that body and put a dot for the eye. And I check that all the time just wiggling it to check to make sure they're not happy with that right so I cure that in between so I've cured that for 30 seconds then I go in and I'm going to do the legs and at first I thought I would do them in pink but I didn't like it I was going to get the black out anyway to do the beak, which is what you see me do here. So I'll do the little beak on that flamingo. And then I decide, I think I think the legs would be better black. I'm sure flamingo's legs are black. So I thought I'll just run that through the pink. So I'm having a look and I'm just checking. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So because I've cured the body of that flamingo, I can go in with some gel cleanse and I just wipe that off, load up my brush with that black and I go in again and I do the legs. So I do a vertical line one way, then I come back on myself and then I come through for those legs. I'll just check that round. So once I'm happy with that, I'll then cure it for a full cure in the lamp before going in with Premier Gel High Shine No Wipe Top Coat. And I will then do this to all five of these nails. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'll give that full cure. Then I give that a wipe with the gel cleanse and I go in with Ugly Ducklings Stick It. And I've had these pointy back gems come through. So I thought I'd like to have a go at working with the pointed back gems. Now this is the first time I've ever done this. Now, 
I go in with stick it and I put a bead of that gel in a very small mountain in that corner and then I come in with the gems so I'm going to put a big one at the front that pretty such a beautiful green then I put a small one on each side and then at the back so I have like a very small cluster of these beautiful green gems in this corner and each one is supporting that big gem also by having the bead of gel it will also help so that uh, if you was to do this on a client they wouldn't catch it on any clothes or hair or anything like that so I'll put that last one in that back and I've got myself a beautiful small cluster there so I then come in with a little bit more gel at the sides because you know what it's like with gems I've started so I'll finish you've got to, got to have a little bit more aren't you because I'm a little bit extra so what we'll do is we'll go in with a darker shade and these now, now we're going to be using flat backs and I'm going to go in with a sh darker shade of the green and put a couple on each side of that cluster just to finish off this beautiful nail it into place see that's the thing with the gel as well we haven't set it so because we haven't set it we can keep moving and nudging that around till we are completely happy that everything that we've put into place is where we want it to be and if not we just keep nudging it around now before I put that into the lamp I need to clean up any excess gel that might be on that nail so with the gel cleanse I then go in with an old brush and I very very gently wipe it away making sure that there's enough gel around those gems but not excess onto the nail a quick nudge and then we zap that in the lamp for a full cure and that's it then guys this is the finished design so i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please hit the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would love it if you would thank you for tuning in today guys and until next time bye